throughout the Second World War, there were many different war crimes committed inside of the concentration camps. Each day prisoners were being taken into the roll call yards and being led up to the gallows where they were executed in public. There were people from all walks of life who lost their lives inside of camps such as Buchenwald or Bergen-Belsen, and even the commandants of some of these camps were executed. The commandant of Buchenwald would be executed inside his own camp, and Rudolf Hurst, the commandant of Auschwitz, would later be sent back to Auschwitz to be executed on a specially built gallows. But there was a German general, and a very experienced military man, who would in the final days of the Second World War in Europe be executed, as Heinrich Himmler gave the specific order to shoot him. General Friedrich von Rabenau was an opponent of the Nazis, and his vocal resistance to Hitler would lead to him losing his life. Join us today as we look at the execution of the German general shot inside a concentration camp. And as always, to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Friedrich von Rabenau was born on the 10th of October 1884 inside of Berlin, and his father was a doctor. As a young man, he joined the Prussian army and served as a member of the 72nd Field Artillery Regiment in the First World War. At the end of this conflict, he remained as a member of the Reichswehr, the post-First World War German army, which was limited to around 100,000 soldiers following the signing of the Treaty of Versailles. He continued to rise throughout the ranks in the army, and in 1936, he was assigned by the head of the general staff, Ludwig Beck, to set up the archive of the German army. With this, von Rabenau was now in charge of keeping an eye on the ideology of the army, and he would become almost a military historian. But von Rabenau was a very strong Christian, and as Hitler rose to power, he would oppose the Nazis and Hitler from the very start. He was a knight of justice in the Order of St. John, and was a strong Protestant. As he was a general in the army, he was seen as a vital cog in the Wehrmacht, as Hitler would have plans to invade different lands. Von Rabenau even asked the head of the SS, Heinrich Himmler, to take over the Maria Larch Abbey, which had been taken from another resistor to the Nazis, Cardinal Graf von Galen. He wanted to ensure the protection of the Abbey, but the general would not necessarily join a resistance group. However, he was linked to a number of other resistors to Hitler and the Nazis, and he would act as a go-between and a messenger for different people who were planning resistance activities. But as the Second World War was continuing, he continued in his role in the military, but he was in 1942 sacked off his job, but he then was transferred to become part of the Führer Reserve. This was a pool of high-ranking German officers, who were not really with a command responsibility, and Hitler often brought officers into this collection when he wasn't pleased with them. He was at the time a general of the artillery, and he was sent into early retirement. Following this, he then studied religion at the University of Berlin, but this would not be the end of von Rabenau's links to resistance to Hitler. On the 20th of July 1944, a bomb plot would take place inside of Hitler's Wolfslayer headquarters. The Stauffenberg plot, as it was known, injured Hitler, but this attempt to kill the Nazi dictator and then seize control of the military ultimately failed, and in the aftermath of this, Hitler and the Nazis, along with the SS, went on the offensive, and they organised a huge purge of the military. The plotters hadn't realised that they'd failed to begin with, and that Hitler was only injured, and Operation Valkyrie was launched, but within hours the Nazis had re-established their control after Hitler made a radio broadcast telling everyone he was alive. But in the aftermath of this, a number of members of the plot, including Stauffenberg, were executed by firing squad outside the headquarters where they were coordinating the attempt to seize the whole of Germany. The Gestapo would arrest more than 7,000 people, and almost 5,000 of these were executed, and around 200 people involved in the plot, specifically, were executed. In the aftermath of the July 20th plot, Friedrich von Rabenau was arrested and he was then sent to Flossenburg concentration camp. Flossenburg was a camp where around 90,000 people were imprisoned, and more than 30,000 people died inside of the barbed wire fences. The camp's purpose was to exploit prisoners for slave labour, and many of the prisoners were forced to create parts for aircraft, and also armaments for the German war industry. The conditions at the camp were very tough, and the quarries there had a higher death rate because of the physical demanding work. Prisoners suffered from a shortage of water and food, and the weather was such at times freezing cold and wet, and this did not help things, and prisoners did not have sufficient clothing to stay warm. The prison camp also did not have enough space, 
and there was a big overcrowding problem, and inmates were forced to sleep and work in shifts to make the overcrowding issue a bit easier. But the prisoner functionaries and the carpos, as well as the guards, were brutal, and they would often beat and strike prisoners, often at times to death. The SS guards were known for corruption, and many prisoners succumbed to their deaths after being shot by them. Disease was also rife at Flottenborg, and thousands died inside of the camp. The main cause of death at the site was disease and starvation. It's believed that around 75% of all deaths at the camp took place in the nine months before liberation, as conditions got much worse. The SS would also carry out executions at the site, with many people being sent there to be executed. Prisoners were taken to Flossenburg. They then stayed a night in the camp jail before they were shot at the firing range, opposite the crematorium. The rate of executions in the final days of the camp also increased, and the SS would execute prisoners who they thought may have been trying to escape, or who may be attempting to organise resistance activities. But inside of the camp many of the most high-profile prisoners had been kept alive for torture and interrogation, and these included von Rabenau and other anti-Nazis, such as the head of the Abwehr, Wilhelm Canaris. On the 15th of April 1945, von Rabenau, who was one of the last inmates of Flossenburg, would be executed. Heinrich Himmler had sent specific orders to the camp for the former general to be executed, and this order was then issued by Gestapo chief Heinrich Muller. It's not exactly known how he was killed, but it's believed that he was shot, and there was an element of secrecy around his killing. It's unlikely that an execution squad or a firing squad was used, and it's most probable that he was taken out of his prison cell and was just shot by a single SS officer with a pistol to the head. This is the most probable, but in the aftermath of the execution, this following message was sent by a man named Stavikitsi, who may have been the executioner. It read, To Gruppenführer Glucks, private, with the request for immediate announcement to RSHA Gruppenführer Muller in person. Rabenau, mortally injured by American low-flying airplane attack, whilst we're on the way to here, leaving today in direction of Berlin. This message was meant to state that General Rabenau had been accidentally killed in an American air raid, but it was to report the execution back to the SS and the Gestapo that he had in fact been killed. He was either killed early on the 15th of April 1945, or late in the evening on the 14th of April, and the execution order was sent as urgent with the highest priority. A number of other resistors were executed in brutal ways in the final days of the war, but General Rabenau may have been subjected to a worse ordeal, but it's mostly believed he was shot on the specific orders of Heinrich Himmler. General Friedrich von Rabenau was a man who would be outspoken against Hitler and the Nazis, and despite his high rank in the military, he would quietly resist. He was one of many members of the military who did not necessarily support Hitler, and he would, in the aftermath of the July 20th plot, be arrested. He was a matter of weeks off surviving, but Heinrich Himmler had ordered that no prisoners should fall into the hands of the enemy, especially those who were considered high-ranking prisoners, like von Rabenau was. But at the age of 60, inside of a tough concentration camp, he was executed ruthlessly alongside many other known resistors who had been kept alive for torture and information. But today he is remembered as a German general who was executed inside of a concentration camp. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you so much for watching.